I'm Coop, I'm gonna go over my HVZ uh, loadout. I get a lot of questions about what I would rock in HVZ, so here's my loadout um, overview to let you know. Keep in mind, this is not my opinion on the best loadout, this is just what I personally run. I know a lot of other people play with different play styles and they would perform much better with different loadouts. This is just my gear. Starting with the blaster, very basic modified strife. I took out the electronic mechanical locks, uh, no motor replacement, nothing else conspicuous or anything crazy, uh, not even a paint job. I'm running four IMR batteries. Um, IMRs output more current than trust fires, but four will eventually burn, burn out your uh, motors. I personally don't care, I'd rather have 10 more FPS for the whole day um, and just buy another strife at the end of the day because they're only 20 bucks, it doesn't really matter. Or heck, that's a good reason to buy Extreme 180s after you burn them out. Uh, but you're going to get a little better performance out of the four IMRs. IMRs versus trust fires, more current output from the IMRs. Link to everything I'm talking about in this whole video in the description box below. Um, but four instead of three because YOLO, why not? Yeah, I just said that. Uh, don't quote me on the four is safe. I never said this, uh, four was safe. You're probably going to burn your motors out if you don't uh, replace them and you rock four upgraded batteries. Stock, this is a stockade stock that's um, unpainted, unmodified. I just like it. It's very small. Um, it's the right length for me. It's like the Retaliator stock and some of the other ones are a little too short for me because I'm an adult. Um, and I just like it. No real good reason to. Up front is a modified uh, flashlight attachment thing. This is just onto an in-strike attachment tooth. Um, how often you'd use a, a flashlight in HVZ depends on your HVZ game, but it's really not heavy. It's not in the way, so why not just leave it there? This doesn't have a momentary switch. This only has a toggle switch, so you just turn it on and then you're running around. A lot of HVZ games ban flashlights because if you shine it in people's faces, it's obnoxious. Uh, this would really only be to seek out something. Um, I remember at OSU we had to find this manila folder somewhere and it was nice to have a flashlight. I didn't have a weapon mounted flashlight at that time, uh, but it was nice to have a flashlight when you're running around looking for something on the ground um, without sunlight. Magazine. Uh, 18 round straight mags are definitely the mags I prefer. I like the capacity of 18 compared to 12. Um, I don't think a magazine should be curving and nerf. Uh, those new banana mags are not efficient. You cannot carry as much ammo on your person, um, readily available at least. Um, so 18 stick round, 18 round stick mags are very popular on HVZ campuses because it's a very efficient way to carry a lot of ammo on you. I'm running Kush darts as well. Uh, blue in the top, green at the bottom. Um, Kush darts I prefer over elite darts because of the accuracy um, attributes. I have a, I cover that in my review annotation up here if you'd like to see that. Why Kush over suction cup? It comes down to cost. I think the uh, Nerf suction cup darts are definitely better darts than the Kush darts. Um, but those are much more expensive. In an HVZ event, I don't plan to get any of my ammo back at any time. If I get some back, fantastic. If I don't, whatever. Kush darts really aren't that expensive, so whatever. If I'm using multicolor ammo, I like to load the bottom three or four with a different color as sort of indicator round saying, hey, you're about out of ammo, change your mag, or at least prep for a mag change. This is not my idea. A lot of real operators use tracer rounds as the last three or four rounds um, in their magazines um, in order to say, hey, I'm almost out. Tracer rounds, of course, are different than just a different color, but they can't see their bullets flying out of the rifle. Um, so I can definitely see the color of my darts when, I, when they're leaving my barrel. So I might say, oh, prep for mag change, especially if I'm very close to zombies or in a dangerous position. Dangerous obviously being a relative word right after discussing an operator. Dangerous within the HVZ game. Hopefully you get what I'm talking about. That is actually it for the blaster. I personally don't like to run around with a bunch of bulk or anything heavy. Um, I just get sick of that very quickly. I like to go very low profile um, as far as like mass. No paint just because I don't really care about that. It's mostly after function in an HVZ event. Um, some other game types that I like to play would be more about flashiness, cool integrations that you'd use. Um, I haven't played an HVZ event where having a different type of projectile like a missile launcher is a big enough advantage to carry that attached to the blaster at all times. But of course that's going to vary in your game, um, and if I went to a new game where a ballistic uh, rocket or whatever counted as like 55 kills on some Grandmaster zombie, I might integrate it just to get that kill or at least attempt it because that would be really, really fun, but for what I play this is more than enough. That's it for the blaster, getting into my gear. As you can see I have six 18-round um, straight mags. Uh, I use the rapid strike ones because I like that they're clear. I can see just very quickly which ones are loaded and which ones are not. Um, again, I load all of them with the colored ones at the bottoms so I can see what I'm about to run out, as I just mentioned. These are all mounted into narrow base holders, as you can see here. These are navy blue in color, contrasting with the black just a little bit. I have a full review on the narrow base products. Uh, very high quality gear. I really like this stuff. And I'm running um, three different independent carriers that are double mags, so that's why I'm carrying six, as you can see from the top view there. I have them upside down because it's more stable. Um, the clear mags don't stick in there, as well as the orange mags and pretty much all the other Nerf mags, um, so holding them upside down, attaching them this way um, would allow them to fall out 
so I'm a little bit more confident when I'm running or doing something that these are going to stay still when they're upside down like this. These carriers are attached to my Molly vest. Uh, this is a Condor Molly vest, and I'm wearing a black shirt on a black background. It's going to be hard to see, but this is a really cheap entry-level carrier. Um, for what we use it for in Nerf, this is more than enough. Um, if you're like a, a soldier or something, this is going to rip and break, and when you're running into stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, this is technically a plate carrier. Uh, but obviously I don't need a bulletproof plate in for a Nerf War, especially since zombies can't even shoot me. But I'm pretty happy with this carrier. It wasn't that expensive. I went for really cheap um, without a lot of material because I didn't want a bunch of weight and bulk, especially some of these carriers can get very restrictive. And again, if you're carrying armor, it's worth it. But for Nerf, I'm trying to go as low profile as possible um, for the most ammo I can carry. Link in the description box to this exact uh, Condor carrier. And then up here is an admin pouch with some Velcro. Function-wise, very little. I just wanted it for, for, the, for the Velcro patch. I have a name tag right here, which is just a Velcro Cooper tag. Uh, that's my last name, obviously. I had that custom made. I just Googled, like, custom um, military tag or something like that. I got orange just because it's Nerf, and I wanted it to uh, contrast highly with the black background. Uh, the, the alicorn right here is just a funny patch I found online and wanted. Uh, that's a unicorn with wings or a pegasus with a horn, whatever. Inside this thing, I have a radio right now. Um, I would maybe carry this on a fanny pack. I'm not really sure. Um, but a radio is nice to have just in case you're trying to communicate with other humans. Um, I'm not the type of tactical guru to wear a headset and want to communicate with other humans within my little group. Um, if you're like 20 feet from me, I'll just yell. If I'm trying to talk to another human group that's trying to coordinate some zombie movement like 200 meters away, a radio comes in real handy for that. And these things are really not that expensive. This little talk about, uh, you're going to get interference problems on a lot of campuses. Uh, really large stone buildings tend to block these things. Um, but if you're close enough to them, you can hear them. Um, other humans, of course, on the radio frequency or um, get a higher quality radio. This is a really cheap one. If you're like, oh, the zombies can just listen in on your radio to um, coordinate a counterattack. Yeah, they can, but that's cheating. There are usually laws say, or rules saying um, don't listen into these frequencies. These are designated for zombies. These are for humans, so humans can communicate with each other um, without interference. And my last uh, carrier pouch is right here. This is a red EMT pouch. I got it in red just because I was trying to brighten this loadout up. Uh, loadout up. I don't like the black vest uh, because it's very aggressive. If they made this in bright white or bright orange, I'd totally buy one. But all those colored um, pack vests are really expensive. This Condor thing was like less than 40 bucks, so it's very affordable. I uh, definitely don't want to go camo just because I'm on a college campus. I'm trying not to scream soldier. I'm trying to scream HVZ kid with a toy, not a gun. Um, so red brightens it up just a little bit. Um, and that's for extra ammo. I would not realistically be able to load these while I'm fighting or shooting at a people. Um, but that's just if I pause and I need more ammo. The seven mags I have loaded should be enough for most missions. Uh, but just in case, that's really not that much bulk and it's out of the way as far as my arm goes. And that's actually it for my vest. If you want to see how it attaches in the back, it's just a little strap area. You can get those carriers that have a back panel if you want to get a hydration carrier, a radio pouch back there so that you can just run the link up here. Lots of different ways to do it. This is just how I've done it because it's a little lighter weight uh, than those full-on carriers. Last pouch is a belt-mounted mag carrier. This is considered a dump pouch, so when I have an empty mag, I can just simply drop it in there very quickly and try to get out my next mag and then engage, um, and then I can run around with this for a little while. This has an elastic top, so if you're using like AR mags or like M4 mags or pretty much any real rifle round uh, rifle mags, it'll trap the mag in here. But this is very lengthy, so it doesn't actually trap it. Um, so I would not recommend getting a dump pouch with the expectation of carrying it while you're running for a long time, especially when you go through a bunch of mags, you have a bunch in there, these will eventually come out. So this is just a temporary measure to very quickly get rid of your mag. Um, I don't think I would just want to throw my mag on the ground and then run away, because I know some zombie would probably take it. These are each worth about $10. So the intention there is to quickly get it into the dump pouch, engage. Once you're safe again or you have 30 seconds to realign, you just put a few empty mags back into your um, carriers. And at that point, of course, you can rearrange so your, your full mags are on your left hand draw, so then your empty mags are further away from you, so it's not as difficult to get to them. So that is all of my Nerf gear that I would carry in an HVZ event. As far as clothing goes, um, my only recommendation would be to wear stuff that's very comfortable. I prefer tennis shoes, um, and just whatever I'm wearing that day, just trying to be more comfortable. I wouldn't wear something too fancy or uh, movement restricting, um, but most of my clothing is based on trying to be able to not be uncomfortable anyways, so that works out from, in my favor. So that is my HVZ loadout for my um, play style. Keep in mind I don't suggest everybody wear this. This is not something that's one size fits all. Uh, coordinate this stuff to whatever you want. Um, some people are really fast and don't mind reloading, so you could only carry two mags and then be able to run that much faster, and that might be a belt mounted thing instead of a chest mounted thing since it restricts you a little bit. Some people like the really big blasters with lots of integrations, really cool stuff. If that's your thing, go for it. Um, I prefer just a little bit easier uh, weapon manipulation, or toy manipulation, sorry. 
um, so I don't want something too bulky running into my shoulder, running into the crap on my chest and all of that, especially when these things come up so high compared to regular mags sitting on a molly vest within here so you can actually do stuff with your arms. So again, this is just to answer some questions um, I've been receiving about what I wear. Hopefully I can inspire some ideas. If you're looking for carriers um, to carry in strike mags, I would recommend checking out Narrowbase. Uh, link in the description box to their website. Uh, high quality stuff. Again, I have a review on their products as well. Overall tips to everybody. Um, if you want to be competitive, I would highly recommend running flywheels. Um, unless you're trying to go super stealthy and then you can just carry a night finder or whatever on the background for that on your hip in a holster for that one time you actually need stealth. Otherwise, having that insane rate of fire with that awesome range is phenomenal. Strifes are pretty much the best blaster right now for um, HVZ. I hate to use the word best, but honestly, it really is. It's 20 bucks, super cheap, um, very small. Uh, if you don't want it to be big, you can just have it that big. I prefer the, the adjustment and the comfort of the stock. It's not no recoil, but again, it's still more comfortable. And then you throw some IMRs or trust fires in there with 10 minutes of modifications. Um, once you have it open, and it's it's going to rock everybody. 18-round um, stick mags are highly recommended. There's a reason most people use these in HVZ events. Not as many people are running other mag styles because it's the most efficient way to carry a lot of ammo in your person. Chest rigs, belt rigs, that's all opinion. I don't even want to jump in on that. Stuff that I just mentioned for the blaster will apply to most HVZ years. The chest rig stuff is going to vary so much depending on your, your budget, your game style, uh, if you're fast, if you're slow. I'm not particularly fast. I don't like to run. Um, so I just sort of trot along with all this ammo saying, come at me, bro. Just I'll just destroy all zombies. And of course, that's just a joke. Uh, but yeah, that's my overview. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.